Hello everyone. Uh, we'll look at today the control flow branching statement or conditional statement. So let's start Xcode and then we'll do uh, in the playground. And the initial read that is blank. And what we will do is um, you know what I want to do? Uh, I want to uh, not uh, blank on iOS. Uh, why not do Mac OS? Reason we do Mac OS is because um, today we will look at um, um, the conditional statements and the loop. All right. Uh, in our logic, here's what I want to do. I want to ask a user to enter some values so that uh, our Swift program can uh, determine. All right. In order to do that, uh, iOS, uh, the user interface is, is based upon uh, iPhone. The playground for iOS does not have the user interaction. So we need to do Mac OS. This is related with your homework assignment for also. Okay, so I click uh, iOS and then blank page. Next. Um, save as, um, or say in class 19S. And then uh, conditional statements uh, loop um, and maybe uh, function. All right. So create. All right. Maybe. I want to do. Let's go back here. New and project Mac OS. Okay, command line tool. This is a, a, what what I want. All right. And then I would do project is in class 19s. Um, and then conditional statements loop and func for function. Uh, I think that's it. And then next, I want to save it uh, in this particular directory and create. All right. Um, this is okay, and I do not want this. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, I want this main script. And then I may not need this pain, so close this. I do not want that also. But I do need bottom here so that I have here user interface. All right. Um, This uh, the one that I had previously is still there, so I want to close that. All right. Um, so it automatically imports a, a foundation, and if you want, uh, we can put here to practice. Uh, conditional statements. I'm going to copy this. Well, rather than copy, I want to cut this and I want to do it here. All right? All right. 
Um, could, so let's first do uh, the conditional statements that appears on your slide. Let's say q equals 7, uh, but if you say q, then it doesn't understand. So for, therefore, you can do variable q uh, equals 7. Then uh, the, the type for q is not just uh, any uh, type, but it should be integer. Um, all right. And then if you say if q is greater than 5, uh, then you can say print, uh, I would say, um, the given Q, uh, the given Q, which is, uh, what is a Q? That is Q, right? Given Q is... Greater than five, and then we have else statements. Else, then you can say print, and you simply copy this and paste. Uh, which is that given Q is not greater than 5, all right? And then you can execute. Remember that uh, a simple playground, playground running on iOS, then you have a button here to, to uh, execute it. But in this case, we have another button uh, on the top. So if you click this, then you can see um, the user interaction command line comes here. So it says uh, the given Q, which is a 7, is a greater than 5, right? You can change this to, for example, Q equals, um, let's say, 4, okay, or 5, oops, 5, save this, and then I can run it. See what happens. What is Q right now? Q is 5, right? Which is 5. If it is 5, 5 is not greater than 5. Therefore, given Q, which is 5, is not greater than 5. Right? Save that and do it again. Then that is it. So question is, can we receive this from user? Then you can, you need to make first uh, the prompt question. Enter your age. All right. And then you need to do uh, read the line. This. This should be, as you read the line, then you should uh, save it to your variable, right? So you can say age. Okay. And then user on user identifier age. Age is not determined. So that you can say age say variable age equals integer so that I uh, says um, Age is integer. Can I put a string to that? So, what you can do here is you can say 
as int. Then cast from string to unrelated type int always fails. Um, so we'll, we need to see what is age, right? So save it and run it. So enter the age if I say seven, then um, the bad uh, the cast from string uh, always fails. So what we need to do let's see we can try string for example okay and then on a re remove that the value um, operation type string must be unwrapped to string So let's do string. Okay, so it turns out that is a seven. All right. So that is that is red. Now what we need to do is say um, what I want to do is I'm going to uh, cast the type string to the integer. So variable uh, we can say this just to input user input so that is a user input is a string but I want to receive it as a variable and the, uh, the integer uh, ag so um, change it to the function int Say that is known value cannot force unwrap the value of the, the non optional type to that. So we need to do this. And then print region. So it's seven. So optional seven is that. So I'm going to this. Now we have seven. Okay. So what we can do then, we can copy this back here and then we can say this is ag uh, if given ag 
which is not the real value. Not given the value, you can say you are ag. Okay. Like this, and we run. So, hard coded value 5 that we that already determined. Now we want to take uh, the value from the user, and if user say at 5, then, then you will have the same answer like, like this, right? If you rerun, say AG 17. And says so your age is 17, which is 17 is greater greater than five. All right. So this is uh, the conditional statement. So in the conditional statements, we uh, can think of a switch statements. Okay. So we can uh, say let. What we can do here, print, enter your enter your letter grade. Okay. And then we can get that uh, Letter grade. What I want to do, I'm going to try to combine these two. So, user grade, let grade equals uh, read line and S. This is just string, right? And then if grade is in the switch statements, we need to do switch grade and case if it is A or small a. Then we can say print you are the best. Okay. And then similarly, case uh, uppercase B or or lowercase B. then you are very good. And then you can, you can uh, list up, what, um, but at the end you can say default, then you can say print, uh, Right. Uh, after that, oh yeah, not this. We have to do this. This is not done, right? All right. So it's done. Let's try. Oh, uh, enter your age. You can say three years old, and you are not greater than five. Enter your letter grade. If I say A, then it says you are the best, right? But if I do, uh, for example, 19 years old, then greater than 5, your grade is C, for example, uh, lowercase C. What happens? Just say done. Okay. 
This is typically um, a conditional statement. So that we have uh, switch statements and if, else if statements, right? So that you can see the difference. Um, if you want to make a range, for example, greater AZ is greater than uh, 16 and AG is less than 21. Before we do, um, let's do this. If AG is greater than 21, then because your A is this, since your AG, since your AG is is that, then you can say you are allowed to fly. And then we can say also else if AG is, is less than um, 21. Greater than or equal to 20. And the AG is less than, no, is greater than 16. Because your AG is there, then you can say you are permitted to learn. Okay. Else you can say print ask or write. Same thing. So we can do this. Oh, and is not allowed here, so that we need to have a double and percent instead of literally n. Okay, enter your age. If I say 21 years old, then since your age is 21, you are allowed to drive. Uh, enter your letter grade. If I say B, then you are very good. Let's rerun. Enter your age. If I am 17, then it says your age is 17, you are permitted to learn. That is the case here. Right? You are permitted to learn. And what is your letter grade? If I say F, then done. Nothing, right? So uh, what so you can see it's some difference between uh, if else uh, conditional statements or switch uh, conditional statements. What is the difference? The major difference here is that if it's a switch statement, then it checks always the equality. If grade is A, grade is lowercase a, so equality checking. There is no range checking. In this case, there is a range, range of uh, some uh, variables. Okay, so this in this way you can um, a state uh, to determine um, to make some uh, uh, decisions. All right. 